Hello, Michelle. How's it going today? Good, Lindsay. Lindsay, I have a question for you. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Are you bougie? Bougie? Oh my gosh, Michelle. I actually don't think I'm very bougie, but some people might think some people might think so. It's all your perspective, right? It's true. Right. Yeah. Some people might classify certain things as bougie and certain things as not bougie. So right. yes. Yes. It what about you, Michelle? Are you bougie? <laughs> I I also don't think so. But again, same as you. I, I Yeah. I, I don't know. I really don't think so, but <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. But you never know. Um, so, but today we're going to answer a question from a listener about this word. This is such a good question. And recently, even this came up in my everyday life. So I heard somebody yeah. using it. So I was excited when I saw this episode. It's, it's, it's really amazing when I hear something and then I realize, oh my gosh, a listener just asked a question about that. That tells me that that this listener is super in tune with the English language and learning. And so um, I just want to say that's a great, great question. I know. I feel the same way, Michelle. I'm going to go ahead and read the question. And this comes from YouTube. And the question is, thanks so much, Lindsay and Michelle. I love your amazing podcasts. Okay, Mm. Michelle, that's wonderful to hear. Could you please make a video about this slang Word, bougie. Thank you in advance. Omid from Iran. Wow. Good question. Yeah. yeah? Very. Yeah. This is going to be a fun one. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah it, like I said, I've been hearing this word a lot just the other day. Yeah. I heard it. Mm-hmm. So we're going to talk about what it means. Um, so just to give you a little bit of a background, I found an article on usatoday.com by Sophia, uh, Sophia Tulp. Um, Mm -hmm. I don't have the date on it for some reason, but it basically talks about, it says it's called what you're, oh, sorry, I have it. June, it's from a while back, Okay, June 30th, 2017. Mm -hmm. And it's called what you're really saying when you call something bougie. And it goes into a lot. um, But one of the things that says it's, and I bet our French listeners know, it's from the French word bourgeoisie, which the article says, I quote, means of middle class status. Yes. Um, Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. And then a little bit more interesting is this is, again, from the article. It says, in Marxist philosophy, the bourgeoisie were the owners and producers in industrialization and factory life. They typically valued property, profit, and maintaining their societal society societal status yes um yep. the proletariat was the working class pro right. is slang for low status but it's not used at all yeah uh, i don't all that much yeah. these days no yeah i don't hear that also it would be it would be rude to, to call someone pro or yeah they, exactly yeah, yeah. 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 So. But so the word actually evolved. The article how talks about how then it was used for a middle or upper class materialism. And ah. then it has now over time, it, it, it evolved to generally mean upper or high class. It could be that a person is really upper class um, mm. or their taste um, or or maybe they aren't really, but they want to be so right. or, or they want to appear that way. Right. right. So this uh, this word has had a little bit of an evolution. So I just wanted to give um, uh, that, that back that back research that I did. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, it really. It, and it's also how ha- it's exactly it's, ha- it's had an evolution and it's having a resurgence now in slang. So mm-hmm. this is something that you might hear your friend say to you if you order a fancy coffee or something. Right. Yes. And we'll get into it examples here but yeah so yes what what part of speech is this is this a noun a verb what is it right so we use it as an adjective actually so we Mm -hmm. say something is bougie or someone is bougie Mm -hmm. um so let's give some examples there were many examples in the article but i came up with some of on my own um that i thought of so that these are fun so one thing i thought of was having a wine and cheese weekly club with your friends that's kind of bougie what do you think lindsay I totally agree. Anything involving wine and cheese is probably kind of bougie. Or you could you could say it's bougie, right? It's right. all about someone proclaiming this is really bougie. Uh, right. Yeah. Or a fancy restaurant, right? Uh, or sometimes I love when you go into hotels <laughs> and the water is infused with lime, lemon, fruit, pineapple, all sorts of things. Cucumber. Yeah. Water and right. uh, fruit water. infused water. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. At a hotel. It's, yeah. Yeah. And it's usually in a fancy uh, large jar, right? Yes. It looks beautiful presentation. It yes. 
That's bougie. Yes. That's bougie. Or, or, you know, just in, in a typical one is just buying expensive things. Maybe certain clothes are bougie or purses mm-hmm. are bougie. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So, Lindsay, we were talking about if we can tell if we are bougie and it's a little <laughs> bit tricky. But do you know anyone who's bougie? Um I don't know. I, I not. I wouldn't say any of my friends really. I guess I know some people indirectly who maybe have, let's say, slightly more expensive elevated taste. Maybe right. They might yes. choose instead of a mid range hotel like a like a Hilton on the side of the highway. They might like when you're doing a road trip. They might go to a, a Marriott. Uh, what is the high end Marriott? A, Mar- the, a Marriott. JW. Um, JW, JW Marriott. Marriott. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Um, and so that kind of thing. I would say I would qualify as bougie somewhat bougie or right. trending towards I bougie say. yeah what about trending. you michelle are bougie, you bougie? adjacent uh-huh. um <laughs> again i don't think i'm bougie but yeah i'm trying to think you know if probably guys when you're listening to us talk about this there's somebody when you hear this word someone pops into your head a picture of someone <laughs> <laughs> yeah um <laughs> uh, and what does I, I i definitely know some bougie people so yeah. what does this person do what does this person like um yeah. so i mean bougie can be a person place thing an activity yes. a general <clears throat> feeling someone's taste lots of different things to use bougie for so it's very mm-hmm. very useful so um let's talk about how we would use it Lindsay, you want to do an example for us yeah we can say oh gosh this hotel is so bougie Ooh, they even have cucumber infused water up at the front i'll be right back <laughs> okay <laughs> that's fun sometimes you know when you when you it's fun to stay in a nice hotel sometimes you know yes it is it is definitely nice um or here's another one i like her but she's a bit too bougie for me i generally hang out with people who are a little bit more down to earth Mm, would we say that that's an opposite of bougie down to earth would you say i think that's a pretty good antonym there i think so i mean uh, this is going to it makes it sound like bougie is a bad thing i mean do you think that bougie has a negative connotation or a positive connotation or it really kind of depends i think it depends on who you talk to but i don't think i i'm not tr- i'm not trying to judge people based on how they want to spend their money you know it's, it's a right. free country you could spend your money however you want maybe maybe this person has as much money as someone else who dresses modestly drives a modest car but that other person wants to compound their funds on the stock market that's totally right. legitimate too they say that warren buffett drives like an old kicker car just a mm-hmm. kind of just not a great car yet. and his son i heard his son tr- begs him to get a new car every 10 years or something like that. <laughs> oh really i mean he a lot of truly wealthy people don't show their wealth that's the truth so mm-hmm. sometimes when i see mm-hmm. bougie i think this person might be trying to appear wealthy but may actually not B that that's that's a trend if you look at really really I mean you could see them in just like jeans and everyday clothes sometimes right yeah because they don't want to be known as being wealthy sometimes true Mm -hmm. right yeah Yeah, that's that's very interesting I've heard that too about you know yeah (laughs) and also showing your wealth yeah and also like purchasing things like a fancy car we know that's a terrible investment so they would know that if people are wealthy so sometimes yeah I think but I think it's okay if you want to you know wear fancy clothes and buy fancy drinks you know more power to you as we said exactly 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 so um yeah it could be really either um but some you know if you hear somebody you, you really have to listen to the person's tone of voice who's using it uh it, it could be right so example for example in the first um, one you gave about the hotel. You said yeah. this hotel is so bougie. It sounds like you're happy about it, right? You like that? Yeah. It's bougie. yeah, yeah. Because I could be a person who's not bougie, but I go to a place. I happen to book something that is bougie, and then I can really enjoy it. So I can comment on the situation, right? Yes, right. Yes. Um, or let's give another example. The scent in this place makes it seem so bougie. Mm. So that's kind of <laughs> neutral sounding. We don't really know. So again, it depends on the context. It depends on how you say it yes Um, we just we you really have to listen up when you hear this word to know what what connotation it has right so you're saying maybe you walk into a yoga studio and there's a it's a the lobby is infused with lavender or something like that right that sort of thing bougie (laughs) bougie (laughs) okay michelle we are back let's get some other ways we could say this there are some other things and it's interesting. I don't, I don't think of American society as very 
classist in that sense. Like I, in my mind, we don't pay a ton of attention to class. We, we pay attention to other things, but obviously we do because it's in our language, right? Definitely. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the first one is uh, swanky. Mm -hmm. uh, that bar is too swanky. There's a dress code and everything. Yes. Yeah. L Lindsay, have you ever heard of a bar having a dress code? And you're like, ah, uh, <laughs> especially shoes. Well, I found that yes, more in, in Europe, I think. Uh, yeah. But probably fancier bars or clubs, especially in New York, you know, LA. If you try to walk in with white tennis shoes. Yeah. You might not get or, or like basketball running shoes or something, you might not get in. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Right, for sure. Right, right, yeah. right. Right, or, so maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's. I mean, listen. It's fair if a business has a certain yeah idea of what they how they want to appear and the kind. Mm -hmm. it, it's you know, it is fair. Sometimes it's annoying, but yeah, yeah. it's fair. It's fair. Have you ever been mm -hmm. turned away from a club, Michelle? Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> whole secret on um, the podcast. I, I I feel I I go to. I, I went to so few clubs yeah. that I don't think I could have been, but I definitely <laughs> have been worried about my Birkenstocks. Oh my gosh! Uh, yes. If I can, if I can get, if I can get into, that. into you know, I sometimes oh, I, uh, not a club, but there was recently a restaurant that huh, we wanted to try out, and we didn't realize it looked really nice on the outside, but we brought our kids there, uh -oh. and as as soon as we walked in, we thought, oh, this is not. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not for them. <laughs> this is not for them. Yeah. And we were wearing people were more dressed up than we were. It wasn't it okay. wasn't what we were imagining. So yeah. we felt a little bad, but it was good food. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. You got in, though. You got served and everything. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> <That's> so funny. <laughs> oh, you were those people. <laughs> oh, I'm those people all the time. We went to a restaurant the other night and oh, no. my daughter was just throwing rice everywhere. And we were thinking probably when we leave, everybody was going to uh, um a clap you know yeah, it was right. just yeah oh okay oh, that's so funny so that's that's a swanky restaurant where you know yeah you, you walk in and you realize okay this is not you know we're not dressed for this or something oh uh, or 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 do you ever like is it so i think we've talked about this before if you walk into a clothing store mm -hmm. and you check you look at one price tag and you think i am in the wrong place but now yeah. they've said hello to me and now i yeah. have to kind of do the lap around and pretend that yep. i'm looking but the there's no chance I'm coming back here because yeah, yeah, you shared that before that you yeah, go and you look at yeah. some price tags just yeah, to make and then sure that people don't around. think you they don't know that you feel like it's not for you or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I so, think our listeners can resonate, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it reminds Ugh. me a little bit of Pretty Woman, the the movie when she went uh -huh. to the fancy store and then, but she actually did have the money. Remember that uh -huh. scene in in Beverly Hills? I've only seen Pretty Woman once. Are so you I kidding me? I know, I know, I know, I know. That's know. actually a good example of looking at class in society. If you mm -hmm. want in American society, if you're curious about how class works here, guys, that would be. A, 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 I mean, it's an old movie, but it's a classic and mm -hmm. it's all about class, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So, all right. Another word would be upscale. So mm -hmm. you could say there's this adorable boutique I love. It's really upscale. Yes. Or snobby. Okay. So this adds a bit more of a value judgment yes. on it, right? Yes. Because right. someone could be bougie, but perfectly nice, right? Exactly. Um, but exactly. when you're snobby, you're adding an attitude. So her group of friends is pretty snobby. Um, um, and snobby, does it always come with money? No. Good question, no. right? No, it doesn't always come with money. Uh, right. It doesn't have to. Just have a, and yeah, exactly. This is the most... This this word out of all of them is the one with the most judgment. So you yeah. wouldn't use this. You wouldn't use this as a total replacement. Oh, this hotel is so snobby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you. It just it just wouldn't necessarily work in that way. That this one is holding judgment. So we talk about being able to tell from the context. This one there is no telling from the context. It says it right in the word. <laughs> yeah, and so what it means is rude or exclusive, right? If someone is right. snobby, they're they're acting exclusively. A group could be not talking to other people outside of the group because they think they're superior, right? Yep. That is snobby. Yep. Uh, usually it's associated with money, but not all the time. Like I remember when I was a kid, I thought certain ki other kids were snobby, but I had nothing to do with how much money they had. Right. It was just kind of their attitude. They were a little yeah. bit better, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And what's the last one? 
expensive taste, right? So this is this is good. I have expensive taste, especially when it comes to fashion. And you know, when you have a conversation about your money values, it's totally fine to say I have expensive taste when it comes to X, but everything else, you know, I have more down to earth taste, right? Because some right. people value certain things, maybe like where the neighborhood they live in or the kind of car they buy or I don't know, quality clothing, but everything else they don't care about. So it's okay to differentiate and you're not all bougie or all not bougie. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And it's, it, it is very interesting because I know people who maybe they have bougie taste when it comes to things for their house, but they yeah. walk around in sweats all the time. Exactly, or yeah, yeah. I know people who don't want to spend money on expensive clothes, but they go buy expensive theater tickets. So exactly. again, it's, it's yeah, everybody's taste is just different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Michelle, we do have a poll result to announce from a previous episode. Let's take a quick moment and announce those results. What episode was this poll from? So this was episode 2282. That was, we keep missing each other. And the question was, do you still have time? Do you still have catch up conversations with people on the phone? Mm -hmm. So Yes, all the time was 27%. And uh -huh. this is interesting. No, I'm a texter was also 27%. Wow, weird. I was split down yeah, the middle. <laughs> weird. And then sometimes was 45%. So yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Cause we were talking in that episode about, yeah, are we still texting? Are we are we calling people? Really important conversation, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. all right, let's go ahead and put this together in a role play. All right. So here we just walked into a store. So let's see who's bougie and who's not. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Uh, this place is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. They are serving champagne. How bougie. I knew it would be upscale, but I am really, really impressed. It's so swanky. I just hope the salespeople aren't snobby. Same here. It's a good thing we have expensive taste. <laughs> okay. I know when you go to shop for a wedding dress, sometimes they'll offer you champagne, right? right. When you go, or maybe, I don't know, I've never had this experience, but when you go to a really fancy jewelry store, maybe they right. offer you really high-end stuff. They probably right. do serve champagne, right? Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> right. Um, all right. So what would be the first thing? So first you said, oh my goodness, they are serving champagne. And then you <laughs> said, I said, how bougie, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and then I said, I knew it would be upscale, but I'm really, really impressed. Yes. Perfect. And then I said, it's just so, it's so swanky, right? Mm -hmm. It's so swanky. Yes. And then I used the judgment word. I said, I just hope that salespeople aren't snobby. So mm -hmm. I'm, you know, passing judgment on, okay, it's really nice. So maybe they're snobby. Yes, exactly. And then I said, same here. It's a good thing we have expensive taste. <laughs> All right. So yeah, it's a, it's a little awkward when you go shopping with a friend who doesn't have the same taste. Have you had that experience? I don't go shopping a ton and I have a feeling maybe not sure if you do, Michelle shop a lot um no not a lot i mean i mostly go around target <laughs> yeah <laughs> right yeah um so but i mean i definitely have friends or family members who have uh, you know who spend different amount of money on clothes than i do and that's totally fine and yeah yeah so, yeah so you don't mind shopping with them and just kind of watching them buy stuff I feel like I don't go shopping with them that no, much, yeah. actually. In a funny, it just I yeah. don't know. It doesn't happen. Yeah, <laughs> shopping for me is not a big hobby, so it's not <laughs> a way I spend my time all that much. Yeah, but. yeah. I I go if I need something, if and boy, something. do I need something. Yeah, I need clothes. So anyway, <laughs> all right, Michelle. What is another episode our listeners could check out? Okay, episode twenty one ninety three was. Is it too pricey? How to talk about your money values in English? So that really gets into it. Um, that was nice. a good one. Nice. Mm -hmm. What's our takeaway for today? Where should we leave our listeners? I feel like we've got a lot of stuff that's come out today around class yeah. and values around money. I mean, what do you think, Michelle? Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, this is just such a great word. Um, and it's just interesting how, yeah, people spend money on different things. And it doesn't necessarily mean they're bougie or whatever, but everybody has different values and how they want to spend their hard earned money. And yeah, um, we have yeah. to respect that. And also just consider when we use these words, the context and how they sound. Yeah, I think the important thing to emphasize here is this slang word is used more for 
like independent scenarios and situations and actions rather than describing a whole person as their ongoing character. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So ooh, mm -hmm. again, like I said, at the top of the show, you ordered a double macchiato latte. How bougie because it's just <gasps> the order. It's not you are bougie, right? right. It, that's kind right. of, and that's always a good uh, rule of thumb when it comes to slang that could be interpreted as offensive to some people at some times. Right. It's just the action rather than the person. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Well, I think, yeah, I think that's a great way to look at it because otherwise you might end up passing judgment on someone right. or, you know, assuming certain things about them that aren't true. So if we try and keep things away from the person and say, okay, in this situation, yeah. they're bougie, but we don't know all the information. Sure. Somebody might be bougie all the way around, but yeah. it's better yeah. to, it's better to give people a chance. I think. <laughs> I mean, there are people that just really love coffee and they'll buy the yeah. most most expensive coffee and the grinders and everything, but then they'll save money on other things. So make it about mm -hmm. the situation or the action, not so much the person, and you'll be good to go with this slang. All right. Absolutely. Love it. All right, Lindsay, awesome. thank you so much. And thank you to Omid for this question. Yes. Take care, Michelle. Talk soon. Bye. All right. Bye.